Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and these four what you see are high current DC motors. All of them are rated at 12 volts but we have to find out the maximum current rating. This one you can see the coil inside, how thick the copper wire is and the commutators. So here I'm going to use this 12 volts 7 h UPS battery to find out the starting maximum starting and running current. Running current as you can see is around 2 amperes while the starting current peak is up to 5 amperes. So that's the high current. Now let's open it all up and see how the armature and the magnets look from inside and if it contains ball bearings or bushes. Now guys we also have to make a permanent marker mark because uh, it is going to be difficult otherwise when we close it after viewing the inside parts. So it is open now and that's the armature. Let's close it up. So guys as you can see that the copper wires are really thick and uh, yeah it's like new from inside although it looked not so much new from outside. The magnets are also in good condition no problem with that and uh, the brushes are also very healthy okay and uh, pretty big brushes have been used to carry that huge current so let's measure the wire thickness you can see it's almost 1 mm now let's place it all back the wire thickness is 1 mm no wonder it can carry huge current so guys in this video I am not going to do the motoring mode tests but the generator mode testing okay. Let's place the screws and keep them held tightly and also place some WD-40 because it has bushes and not bearings okay. And this motor that I am placing WD-40 on this is uh, the piece I am going to use for testing. This is a large 1 kilowatt DC motor and uh, this is a small motor and this is a double growth pulley which I got from Banggood's link will be in the description if you want to buy it and uh, it has uh, like the bolt to tighten up and uh, it is 8 mm and fits perfectly to the shaft size of the motor so let's place the rubber belts and I'm going to use two of them because this small motor and the big motor both are going to be under huge load because I'm going to do the maximum power testing here. So those two terminals, brass terminals that you see to those I have connected two wires and to the wire output I'm going to connect the multimeter pins to measure uh, the voltage it is generating when I run it at high RPM with the help of the large DC motor. This is the DC motor speed controller that I made and a low high speed and DC socket. So let's do it with one belt at the start. As you can see it is uh, producing around 5.2 volts. Let's increase the voltage. Yeah, Its performance voltage has increased to around 9 volts, even 10, close to 12 and we have crossed 12 volts, 13.24 volts was the max we got okay so the output voltage generated voltage was pretty good so here as you can see that i have given two more wire connections to connect few bulbs and other loads to it so first i'm going to start with a 6 volts bulb you see 30 watts 6 volts bulb with two filaments it's from a royal enfield okay uh, wait a second it's moving and you can see that it is glowing brightly really bright and obviously it is really easy for the small generator to light it up and the voltage is around 7 volts so the bulb is glowing at its full potential now this you are familiar with is 12 volts 35 watts bike headlamp bulb okay so let's connect this one and this one is also lighting up brightly with a little more drop as can be seen on the multimeter display the voltage is dropping let's increase it to 12 volts by increasing the driving motor rpm we have reached around 9.5 10.5 and we are doing around 12 volts yeah around 13 volts was the max we did and you can see that i've removed the input supply socket and it is still running uh, because of the flywheel okay now let's move on to even higher power bulb 
90 watts 100 to 90 watts 12 volts okay so that has also been connected this is going to draw even more current but first we are doing the voltage test right now let's see if it can produce that much volt that much voltage at a uh, such a high load the load is really big right now for the small generator and we have reached around 12.5 volts yes the small generator is performing really good and again we have disconnected the supply and still it is running because of the inertia disk on the driving motor you see how long it takes to stop because of the large inertia disk it is really helpful in that now enough with the voltage test let's move on to the current testing you can see that i pointed the meter towards 600 ampere current mode pointing zero flashing zero at the moment let's place the multimeter at a point that it is visible pretty good and the current drawn is around four amperes it is uh, the bulb is drawing let's increase it further we have reached around five amperes 5.5 and six amps the bulb is glowing really bright and we are peaking at around 6.06 .06 amperes uh, with the maximum voltage of around 12 volts here the starlight 250 watts bulb this is a really big it looks small but it is really big the filaments are really thick now i'm going to power up this 250 watts bulb this is the biggest dc bulb i've got here you can see that at the lowest input it is producing a, uh, i mean consuming around 3.5 amps let's increase it further yeah we have reached around 4.5 amperes so uh, somewhat equivalent to the previous bulb which was 90 watts and we have reached around 6 amperes we have crossed uh, the amp rating of the previous bulb yeah 6.27 amps for this one the amperes were less because that was a 24 volts bulb now guys comes the final shunt resistance short circuit testing so i'm going to short circuit the wires with the help of an um, external shunt resistance okay i've given really small loops and uh, at present at the minimum rpm it is drawing around 5.5 amperes and glowing hot okay it's almost red 5.5 amperes increasing the rpm and we have easily reached around 8.5 amperes and it is smoking red hot let's go further and see what happens okay it has caught fire now that is amazing oops the filament burned out and it broke the shunt resistance burnt out now guys comes the final test for which you all have been waiting that i said that i'm going to do the maximum power testing so we have uh, done the maximum voltage testing that was around 13.24 at the beginning so now i'm going to go for uh, the short circuit current testing now i'm not going to connect any shunt resistance but i'm going to connect the two wires coming out from the DC generator so that it creates a shortest path short circuit that is what it means and at the lowest RPM it is producing around 11 amperes it's the negative sign let's reverse the wire yeah and now it is positive and 11 point yeah almost 12 amperes that is pretty good at such a low RPM increasing the knob and rpm will easily reached around 20 amps 22 23 i don't think the belts can survive more okay so i will have to turn it off and the peak was around 25 amperes well this uh, dc motor is rated at a max of around 32 amperes so yeah the performance was really good